everybody, it is Misty from Missouri Star Quilt Company and I am so excited to be here with you guys. I hope you are doing well. Um, as you know, a few weeks back, we attempted to go live from home during our self quarantine after some travels. And I showed you guys how to make a TV tray table into a portable ironing mat. Well, we had some technical difficulties, so I thought I would just take a minute here on set to show you how to do that. It's super simple. And we even have a free printable for you um, that breaks it down um, and tells you exactly what to do. So the first step you want to do is measure your tray table. I recommend a good wooden one that will hold up for you. And mine measures across the top 14 and a half by 19. The next step you wanna do is cut out a piece of cardboard to that exact size, and you're gonna wrap it in tin foil. This helps create a moisture barrier and just kind of protect the surface from the heat and steam that you might be using. So I've got that here. And then we're going to wrap this with some scrap batting. And you wanna wrap it at least three times. So I've just got some batting here and you can see it's cut close, but not exact. And I'm just gonna kind of twirl it around and wrap it like so. Make sure we've got some good layers there. And so then this, I'm just gonna set aside. Next up, you wanna pick the cute fabric that you would like to cover your ironing board with. And I decided to use one of the prints from Tula Pink's homemade collection. They're so cute and they all feature sewing notions. And so any one of them would look great in a sewing room. Um, I decided on this one that has the little uh, measurements marked on it. It's just so cute and it has the little sewing machine and needles and I just love these cute motifs. So the size that you're going to want to do for cutting is you're going to add four inches to all the sides of your tray table, which means that we need to add eight inches to our length and eight inches to our width. So this is going to be 14 and a half plus eight is 22 and a half and 19 plus eight is 27. So our fabric needs to be cut 22 and a half by 27 and I have that ready to go here. So next up, what we're gonna do is we're going to cut out a four inch square from each corner. So let's go ahead and do that. And this will allow us to box those corners. So I'm just gonna start here, use my ruler and I can see I'm in four this way and four this way. Just gonna be very careful and cut. And then we'll just rotate this around and we'll do that on all four sides. Okay, so now we have all four ready to go. And you can see here, what we're gonna do is we're just going to lay these right sides together. And we're gonna take this to the sewing machine and we're gonna sew each corner down a quarter of an inch. Okay, so you can see here, we have all four corners boxed and ready to go. And the next step is to just form a simple casing for a drawstring to go through. So we're gonna start by pressing this down a quarter of an inch and then one inch again. So let's start by doing that quarter inch. And this fabric is so handy because it has those uh, grid lines like our cutting mat. It makes it pretty easy to tell if you're going straight. So we'll just zoom around this. Okay, we've got the quarter inch. Now we're gonna go ahead and fold it over an inch and do the exact same thing. Now remember, this doesn't have to be super exact. I'm just eyeball eyeballing it all the way around. Oh, 
All right, so we have got our two little turns pressed and ready to take to the sewing machine. There's a couple of ways you can do this. If you're worried about keeping this down, you could go ahead and do a stitch around this to hold it and then top stitch it. I'm comfortable with just pressing them both and just following this edge and taking it to the machine. So that's what we're gonna do. I am gonna leave a one inch opening on the side to feed my drawstring through. So you wanna make sure you backstitch when you start, zoom all the way around, and then backstitch at the end. And again, this fabric tells you exactly what one inch looks like. So we're gonna do that. Okay, so like I mentioned, we left that one inch opening so we can go ahead and feed our drawstring through. And you can see here, I've already done that on this one. I just used some quarter inch single fold bias tape. You could um, make your own out of the matching fabric. Um, you know, just cut a one inch strip of fabric and fold it in. It's gonna take about two yards in length to get a nice amount to go all the way around. And you're just gonna, you know, put a safety pin through that and feed it through. And then let me show you how this fits onto the ironing board. So I'm gonna pull this up here. Here's my tray table. And you can see I've stacked my uh, foil wrapped cardboard wrapped in batting on top of this. And then I have my cover that we're just going to fit over this. And this provides a nice snug fit so that when you go to press, you don't have any wrinkles or anything. And then the tie is just plenty long that you can tighten that up and it is secure. And I love this so much because then you can take it off, wash it. If you know the style of your sewing room or the style of your heart changes, you can swap this out easily without too much fabric. It's a great simple project and it's great to take on the go. I hope you enjoyed it and have a great day.